All right, in this video, I hope to clear up a lot of bullshit and quite possibly end your targeting symptoms. I've had a lot of people disagree with me. They believe that putting giant steel plates up around their house or living in a Faraday cage is the right way to go. They believe that there are actual chips in their heads and they're being mind read and, you know, all that stuff. Um, yet they still have symptoms. They're giving you all this advice, but they're still... Uh, suffering targeting symptoms I'm giving you advice and I do not have these targeting symptoms anymore and it's not like um, I'm not being hit by the signals anymore I'm recording them constantly but I don't feel any of the symptoms that I felt before so you can listen to anything you want but I'm telling you the truth this is what's up it doesn't matter if you put all this stuff around you to block you from the signals if the signals are even coming straight through your power lines as well and putting a cage around you in your own house or domain. It doesn't matter. It also doesn't matter if your body itself is already the antenna. And it's not from a chip. It's not from any of that. There's something on you that you can't see. 100% of you have a fungal infection on your skin and in your body. One of the things that this fungal infection does is it creates a layer of skin. It's like a biofilm slash um, the clear part of a scab that grows over your skin. This has grown over all of your skin, everywhere. What you, might, you may even suffer from you know, dry skin, uh, rashes, itchiness, blah, 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 blah. That's not coming from weapons. That's coming from the film that's on your skin. What this does is it allows particles that are in your environment around you all the time. It allows these particles to stick to the film and it builds layer by layer over the years. All the time it's regenerating. You may have age spots that can just peel right off, but I'm telling you, it's allowing this stuff to stick to your skin and stay attached to you. What you'll find is things that look like little quartz um, grains of sand. You'll find uh, red and blue black specks. You'll find blue and red um, spots as well, little, little tiny particles. You'll also find uh, sh very short black uh, wiry fibers as well as clear fibers that almost look like white hairs, but they're like a, um, almost like fiberglass. Now, what's the difference between, say, this and Morgellons? Absolutely nothing. But um, not 100% of Morgellons sufferers have targeting symptoms. However, 100% of targeted individuals have this fungal infection. There are people that didn't believe me at first that I've talked to. And um, one person who's become a friend of mine has been targeted since 2001. And she didn't know that this film was on her body at all. She didn't believe me at first. I didn't blame her because she didn't have any symptoms of it other than, you know, dry skin or like something showing up on her arm once in a while that a doctor would look at and give her a cream for some crap. But when she did the, the protocol that I, that I had been doing, when she did this, all this stuff started peeling off her body everywhere. And she didn't even know it was there. So most of you who are targeted, you have no idea that this fungal infection is growing on top of your skin. Now think about this. This is somebody that's been targeted since 2001. That's, you know, that's 16 years of being completely oblivious because something is that good. It's that well hidden that you can go out in public and people don't notice, that you can be around your family and your family doesn't notice. You know, this is 16 years of not even realizing that something is on top of your skin right in front of you. It doesn't always work the way it's supposed to. Some people get it and develop really bad symptoms. Some people get like weird lines, you know, that look like scabies or whatever. And they'll think that some, you know, some spooks in a van pointing a weapon at them that's causing this. But what it is is that your skin doesn't like it growing on there. So it, a lot of times it fights it. Your immune system fights it or whatnot. You'll get rashes, spots. I got things that almost look like snake bites on me that really look like, you know, 
somebody had either stuck you with a needle or some, you know, it, it could be anything. But what it is, is it's, it's a, it's your body fighting this off. And sometimes your body does really weird stuff. You, somebody could ask, well, what's the point of this? Well, this is, this is simple. It, it's not what people say this is, okay? You don't need a directed energy weapon if this is causing you to be the antenna. Something that would normally wash off in the shower is stuck under two, three layers of this and isn't coming off until you kill it and clean this stuff off your skin. That's the difference between you and everybody else. That's the reason why there can be 10 people in a room and only you are feeling the effects of this because you are the antenna because you have this infection growing on top of your skin and inside your body. You get it? And this is another reason why it doesn't need to be a directed energy weapon. These signals are not being pointed at one person like this per se. This is like a radio station. The signal is everywhere. So no matter where you go, you are in the radio field. It's no different than, than a, a FM radio station where the signal is anywhere that you have a radio with an antenna, then you can hear the radio station. It's the same exact thing. The signal is just everywhere. That's why if you had 10 radios in a room and nine of them didn't have the antenna, all it's going to do is pick up fuzz. You have one with the antenna and it's going to pick up the radio station that's completely invisible. That's exactly what is happening. What am I saying? because I've tried to explain things pretty clearly and still had people ask, what's my point? My point is, is that you are the antenna. You are the radio with the antenna. That's why you're feeling the jolts, the vibrations, the, the, all the symptoms that you feel on your skin, in your body, the pain, whatnot, V2K, if you want to call it that, we'll just call it audio harassment. It's just a radio station. And let me say this again. I had every symptom listed, every single symptom listed under electronic harassment. The vibrations, the jolts, the feelings of electricity going through you, everything, every single one. I don't have the symptoms anymore. So here are all these people giving you advice, telling you what it is, what it's supposed to be, when I made myself the white rabbit, I experimented on myself, I figured out what's logical and what's not. You keep it under the keep it simple stupid theory, it's a basis. I've used it my whole life and I know that the people operating these kind of programs are using the same thing too. You can't overthink things and that's exactly what's happened. So keep it simple stupid. I do not have the symptoms anymore because I broke down this stuff and got it off my skin. It's gone. It is gone. But if I stopped treating myself, I would probably bet that this stuff would slowly creep back. It's called a, I'm calling it a tipping point. I think that everybody has this on them to some degree. Certain people get it worse when it hits a certain percentage on your body and the layers build up or whatnot then you chip over into that point. That is when you start feeling the effects of electronic harassment. Now, I'm not saying that other ways haven't been tried at all. What I'm telling you is that they found the, the perfectly simple way to do this, and that's why the numbers of people who are, un, who are feeling electronic harassment symptoms have gone up so much. So I strongly, strongly suggest that you stop buying into the idea of some spook slipping into your house with his black leotard on in the middle of the night and putting a chip in your neck when it's not necessary anymore. Let's think of what we're dealing with as a dirty board. That's what I call it. It's a dirty circuit board. So what you've got is you've got, um, you know, I've pulled these crystal things that look like, uh, that look like, you know, quartz out of my skin that come out of my skin when I'm taking these layers off. This resembles quartz crystal. What You can make a simple quartz radio. I made one when I was five years old. I mean, you put all these things together and you have a perfectly dirty circuit board. You've got um, the iron oxide that comes out of your body too as well, the black specks or whatnot. That accounts for the vibrations 
that people feel. Uh, you can look it up. Look up the uh, vibrating tattoo that came from Nokia. You can do, if somebody can do this with a tattoo, all a tattoo is is some ink put under your skin. If this dust gets under and in the layers that are building up on your skin, you can do the exact same thing. Exactly. We need to look at this logically and simply. And that's what it is. Because there is no way the manpower could go behind and, and actually keep this secret. There's no way the manpower could go behind, you know, targeting, let's, let's just say, 100,000 people. You know, there's not a team of people that are doing this to 100,000 people and still keeping this thing secret. It's much simpler than this. It's so much more. People are overthinking this. And what that's doing is it's causing so much disinformation to get out there. And then you've got all these people, and I, I feel bad for them, but you have all these people that are living in Faraday cages and living in all this stuff. It doesn't matter if you put all this shit around you if you're the antenna and the shit's coming through the power lines anyway. It's coming right to you through your house. So you can put all this shit around your domain, but there's still a power line coming into your house. You still got a cell phone. You still got computers. You still got all these things. I've detected... Um, four to 500 uh, megahertz radio signals coming from my monitor, from my flat screen monitor on my computer. And that was coming through on uh, channel 11 and channel 22 on a walkie. If it was within two, three feet, it would stop in the scan mode and pick it up. So, you know, this stuff is coming right to you. Look at it logically. Look at it logically and get all this disinformation out of your head because you can end this. You can end all the symptoms by treating yourself and treating your skin and purging yourself of heavy metals. More than two uh, metals in the body creates a battery. That's the truth. Look it up. I've said that in other videos. And then still people ask me, well, what is your point? Well, my point is everything that I've just said on top of the fact that if we can all prove one common symptom, one common physical symptom that's hard to fight. Now, I mentioned in another video of seeing the targets in my eyes um, and other people in my family also have them in their eyes, either on the lens or in the fluid of their eyes where you can see perfectly shaped um, bullseye or target shapes inside the eye or in, in the fluid. I'm not sure which, but I used a microscope and um, you can also do it with a jeweler's loop if you do it properly. But if you see these on or in your eyes, that's one more symptom that can be proven that everybody has the same physical symptom. Somebody asked what my point was on that. Well, that, that's my point. If everybody has one, two, three common physical symptoms, then the people running this operation have a fucking problem. And going around telling people that satellites, your neighbors, um, I know this is going to piss a lot of people off, but at this point, I don't care. Um, satellites, your neighbors, that, uh, you know, certain people in this old woman in the neighborhood, a six-year-old boy is tracking you down and doing, this is just helping them out. So we have to stop doing that, man. We, like, it doesn't work. It doesn't do anybody good. They look at you and they think schizophrenic. So quit putting out the information and the stuff that you may think is evidence, think of it, think of things outside your head. Look, look in and think about it before you post stuff because it only, most of it only hurts you. You need to start only posting things that are absolute proof that somebody could, that even a doctor or a scientist or whoever would look at and scratch their head and say, okay, there's something up here. They love the fact that people are complaining of invisible symptoms. It's just like um, uh, bipolar or, or you know, schizophrenia or anything else. You, you can complain of something, but you can't take an x-ray and prove this stuff. However, a thousand people who are suffering from this, who have the same skin condition, who have the same things coming off their skin, that creates a problem, not for us, for them, because you can't fight it. You can't say, well, that's just in their head, because it's not. You have a thousand people, let's say, with the same symptoms physically and the same particles coming off their skin, the same film coming off their skin. And believe me, you have it. We're going to get to that.
I was watching one guy's video where he was talking about how he had gone to the doctor and this doctor told him that his body was making candida just to make candida and he couldn't figure it out. Well, there you go. This is a, a cross between, it's like a GMO almost. It's like candida and um, sporotrichosis or possibly um, even lymphatic sporotrichosis where it, this has gotten everywhere. And one of the things that sporotrichosis does is it affects the hair follicle. And that's one thing that you'll notice maybe is that your pores have been covered up by this sticky film. Maybe you have it, maybe you don't have those symptoms yet. But if you let it keep going, you will. What it does is it gets into the hair follicle. Your body grows hair everywhere. So anywhere that it grows hair, it's going to affect this. You can cause premature grayness. It can cause your hairs to grow back all wiry and crazy. Um, it does a lot of different things. Um, you, you might notice that your stomach gurgles all the time. And that's not from, uh, that's not from you know, some guy in a van hitting you with a, with a ray gun. That's from, that's from the candida sporotrichosis that keeps making this stuff that, that, that acts like a glue. It acts like a glue on your skin and in other parts of your body, possibly even your digestive tract, your throat, other areas. And it, and it allows this stuff to uh, stick to you. And it, like I explained earlier, it sticks you layer by layer. The stuff gets covered up and it's, it's inside your skin now, basically. Um, once you kill the stuff, break it up, the stuff will start to fall off and your symptoms will, will diminish greatly. There was an activist, a uh, Canadian chemtrail activist named Alex Hunter who was hit um, with this stuff. And I, he had the exact same symptom that I had where he would hack up this glue and it was literally, it was like a phlegm, but this stuff was like frickin' wood glue. If it was on a if you hacked it up into the sink, you couldn't get it out of the bottom of the sink. I mean, this stuff acted like, I swear, it was like the, the toughest glue. You, you could barely get it off something. If you hacked it up onto a plastic or onto anything, it wouldn't come off. Now, this is stuff that's in your throat and wet. Imagine something like this growing and drying on your skin after it's been processed by the body. Another thing you might notice is that your ears have stopped making wax. Um, it clogs all your pores. You don't sweat the same. You, um, it, it just clogs everything because it's a, it's a glue. It's a skin. It's like a biofilm. It's like a scab. It's like the clear part of a scab. That's how it starts to come off. Um, I'll even put up pictures to show you. Even pictures of the, of the woman, girl, who didn't believe me at first before she tried this. Um, what this does is it, it clogs up inside the ear, then your ear doesn't make wax anymore, it can't get out. So what is happening is your ears are constantly dry, it makes them crisp, and, and if you think about that, I mean, that works in a myriad of different ways. What a lot of people notice too as well is, you know, after they're targeted or if they have more gallons or whatnot, is they notice weird fibers, weird dust in their house, it's in their environment. And, you know, what is that? Your body isn't making that. That's coming from the environment. And what it's made to do when you have the infection is it sticks to you. It sticks to you, and layer by layer it gets covered up, and there you go. It's, it's everything that I'm explaining to you. So these particles that people are finding in their house as they build up over time are, are things that are intended to either be in the environment or to stick to people that have this particular infection. Or everybody has this infection to some degree, and the people who are uh, the people who have electronic harassment symptoms have hit the tipping point that I talked about earlier, and have them to a much higher degree. Now, here comes the part where it's imperative that you listen, and it's imperative that you try it, because if you don't believe me, and if you don't believe it works, the only thing that can happen is you're going to get a little bit healthier than you are now. So you really don't have anything to lose here. So you try it, it's going to work, and you're going to watch your symptoms start to dissipate. Now some of it you're gonna notice immediately. However, it's going to take, uh, I would say, one to three to four months before you feel the full effects of it. Um, but you will 
see the effect. Now, if you're lazy, if you're waiting for a magic fairy to come around and, and turn the button off, turn the switch off, so you're not going to feel this anymore, that's not going to happen. So if you're a loser in the beginning, just stop now and don't do it. If you're proactive and you're ready to change this, then you can change it yourself. It's up to you. I put up, you know, video after video trying to help people out. And um, then you get this one person that comes along and says, you know, you know, on this page that's meant for everybody, help me advocate for me. Call me. I need help. Blah, 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 blah. We all have to help each other here or we're fucked. So, you know. These one, these selfish people that come along and just, like I said, are just waiting for some magic bullshit to just come and hit the switch off. It's not going to happen like that. And we need to work together. And I'm telling you how it's going to turn off. I'm telling you this. And it's worked for me. I do not feel the effects. I've said this three times. I'm going to say it again. I do not have the symptoms anymore. Yet I record the signals every day. So it isn't like I'm not being hit anymore. We're all, we've all got these signals around us. I just don't feel the effects of it because I've gotten this stuff off my skin and off my body enough to the point where I do not feel the effects anymore. Now, you can get in the shower and it can feel like you have uh, poison ivy on your skin when you run hot water on it. Your skin can look doughy like on your eyelids or different spots at this point. You might have premature wrinkled skin that looks like age spots. You might have been to the doctor, you might have had like a fungal infection on your arm or something that was, you know, just you were given a cream and it was blown off. That is this whole system. We're going to break it down and this is exactly what you need. None of this stuff is optional. You need all of it. If you don't, if you're picking and choosing or you think you don't need this or you don't need that, it's not going to work and it's not going to work as fast. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to get Epsom salt. And I mean a lot of Epsom salt. And you're not going to be a pansy about it and put one or two cups in the tub. You're going to put at least four or five cups in the tub. If you want to go higher, if, you, if you've got enough money to put in a whole fucking bag in the tub, do it. Um, can't do you any harm. Fill the tub up as hot as you can stand it. You put this stuff in and you're going to bathe every day with Epsom salt. Every day with a lot in it, at least five cups in the tub, at least. After a while, maybe a week or two of taking these baths, you start rubbing your skin while you're in the tub. You're going to notice that the stuff, something is going to start rubbing off you while you're in the tub. And it's going to look like a sunburn at first, like you're, peeling a, like you're peeling a sunburn or whatnot. That is the sign that this stuff is starting to break up from your skin. Not only does the uh, Epsom salt start to break this stuff up, it draws heavy metals and, and different toxins out of your skin. It's awesome for you. And not only can you take uh, Epsom salt as a bath, it's a good thing to drink a little bit of it. Look it up. I know that sounds wacky to a lot of people, but Epsom salt... It's a magnesium, and it's, it's the exact treatment that they give people for barium poisoning. Now, what are the things that are going up in the environment heavily? Barium and aluminum. Use the Epsom salt internally as well, and it will purge your body of heavy metals. It's imperative. So you, this works in a myriad of different ways, but not only does it start to break this stuff up, but it also detoxes the body at the same time. You're going to stop using laundry soap. Stop using it. Start using borax, borax in your laundry. And that's it. That's all you need. Put the water on hot. Wash your clothes hot with borax and dry them. You have to dry your clothes. You can't hang your clothes up to dry. It just perpetuates this shit. You need the dryer to knock this stuff out. And believe me, I went without a dryer for a long time. I hung up my clothes, it perpetuated this, it made it way worse. As soon as I got a dryer, a lot of these symptoms that I couldn't seem to kick went away. A dryer is a big part of this because it knocks the clothes around and it sucks that crap out and shoots it up the vent. Another thing that you're going to use is borax. You're going to use borax for cleaning. You're going to use the borax, like I said, in your laundry. And you can take, now if you don't want to take it internally, a lot of people are scared of this, but it's, people drink it all the time. Um, boron 
kills, uh, it regulates your hormones, it kills fungus, it's a fungicide. Most people that come and take care of your fungus in your house, if they've got a sprayer, it's secretly just a bucket full of boron, really. It's being sprayed around. You want to take this stuff internally. If you don't want to do that, go to a vitamin shop and get boron pills. You want to take boron. Boron is a, it's a miracle. It pulls heavy metals out. It pulls um, fluoride out of your bones, even. It does a lot. It fixes your hormones. Um, but mainly, the main reason is because it stops this fungal growth. And like I said earlier, the worst you can do is make yourself healthier afterwards. But you're going to see that I'm right. The purest form is borax right out of the box. I've, when I first did this, I decided to just overdo it. And I drank loads of it and if it was going to kill anybody i would already be dead here's some other things that kill this stuff um that you can wear to bed at night if you want uh, honey for one uh wax this stuff off your face off your skin not to the same degree but it does um vix vapor rub has oils in it that does the same thing another thing that you want to try is and this is hardcore this will kill it off quickly, is a lime sulfur dip. It's natural. They use it for pets, for scabies, and other things. It's an antifungal. They actually use it on your plants and on vegetables or whatnot. It's an antifungal. It's a fungicide. And they, they use it for all kinds of stuff, including pets, vegetables, tomatoes, whatever. You want to put it on your skin, mix it accordingly. I think it's uh, two, two ounces, two to four ounces per gallon. You get it, and it will kill this stuff up quick. It will look like you have alligator skin on you. Good thing to do is use this first, and then use uh, use borax or use Epsom salt afterwards. In any order you want to try, it may be different for different people. You may get different results, but it will start to work. This lime sulfur dip is a radical path. It really is, but it dries it up quick. Now, before I forget, you go to Walmart and get... A magnif I don't care where you go. It can be Meyer, Walmart, whatever. Get a jeweler's loop. Get a magnifying glass. Get something that has high magnification. And when the stuff starts to come off you, look at the stuff. And I guarantee you, you're going to see black specks. You're going to see red and blue specks. You're going to see wiry, short, black fibers. You're also going to see clear uh, type fibers that almost look like hairs, but they're clear, like fiberglass. Check it out. This stuff starts to come off. You save a little bit of it. I think it's important. It's, if anything, it's evidence. Now, here's what you're going to take inside your body, other than the things I've already mentioned. Um, bentonite clay. It's a liquid. It's a clay, but it's a liquid clay. You're going to add it to water. You're going to drink it. They sell it at vitamin shops, wherever. It's a it's supposed to be a detox thing. It acts like a magnet. It grabs this stuff and pulls it out of your body. You might get sick the first few times using it. And I don't mean, you know, sick, sick, but you may have uh, diarrhea. You may throw up. Some people, different people react differently to it. You're going to get it, and you're going to take it. You're going to take it every day. And what this does is it pulls all the, it acts like a magnet, and it pulls all the stuff that's in your system out. It's imperative that you do this. What you're going to notice right away is that your symptoms of your gut gurgling all the time, that will stop. It will dissipate and it will stop. All these symptoms will go away. Start using that. Then you want to take potassium. Potassium is really important. Take potassium um, aspartate. Take uh, magnesium. As the magnesium is super important. And then what you want to do is you want to take oil of oregano, garlic, anything you can that's going to stop the stuff from regrowing in your system. It's imperative. They start pick and choose which one. You need to do it. And trust me, along with the boron pills, the Epsom salt, or the boron, if you're going to take straight up borax, this is the best stuff you can do. Then what you want to do is you want to get iodine and or potassium iodide. You want to get the liquid. If you can't, anything will do, but... Most importantly, the liquid will start really working for you. If you can get um, potassium iodide powder, um, survival shops sell it because it protects the thyroid or whatnot in case of a nuclear war. Um, 
stuff like that. You want to get you want to get this powder, and you want to make a saturated solution of potassium iodide and start to take it. And what that does is it kills off the infection in your body. What that is is it's the cure for sporotrichosis. It's imperative that you use it, and it will, and I promise you, alleviate a lot of your symptoms. Once you start doing all this, within a couple weeks or a month, you're going to start seeing this stuff come right off your body. It'll peel, it'll crack. Like I said earlier, I'm going to add pictures showing you how this stuff cracks up. It can come off in shards if you kill it fast enough. Another thing that works to uh, eradicate it, but it can hurt. And it really can hurt because it cracks so fast within a few days is um, palm olive antibacterial dish soap with L-lactic acid. It will dry this stuff up down to the core and crack it up. I'll actually add pictures of that as well. Uh, right now, hopefully, I'll put it over the video. Um, this stuff will come off in thick shards, but it'll hurt like hell when it comes off. Like, you won't be able to, like, if it's in your armpit or in your side and you move, it will remind you that you have an armpit and it will remind you that you have a side there because it'll feel like third fucking degree burns. A lot of people are under the illusion or the delusion that Morgellons and electronic harassment are two separate things. Like, uh, they'll say, I've been hit with electronic harassment and they gave me more gallons. Well, that's, it's not the case at all. It's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. Like I said earlier, um, not everybody that has more gallons has electronic harassment symptoms, but 100% of electronic harassment victims, if you will, have more gallons type symptoms. You at least have the biofilm that's on your skin and it's holding shit there. So, what have we got so far? We've got the Epsom salt and the borax to start breaking this stuff up off your skin. You can use the oil of oregano as well on your skin. We talked about the things to take internally to start breaking this stuff up. It may fight you at first. You may not see anything at first, but I promise you, you will. Like I said earlier, this chick had this stuff on her for 16 years before she realized that there was anything growing on her skin at all. So the goal is to kill off this fungus, this mix of candida and sporotrichosis that is hurting the skin. It's growing a, a type of biofilm on the skin and or it's tricking the skin into believing that it's um, burned or hurt so that it creates this uh, scab-like material over the skin. You, you want to kill that off. You want to chelate your, your body and cleanse the body of heavy metals. It's imperative. And... Then you start taking these things internally to combat this and constantly combat this. And this is the way to do it. And I've done it, and I'm telling you, I'm not selling anything. I'm telling you 100% that all the sensations that I felt before are gone. Gone. And we know, I know, you know, my dog knows, that anybody that's in the program or whatever you want to call it, doesn't get out of the program. You're, when you're hit with this stuff, generally you feel it for the rest of your life. I wish people like uh, Harlan Gerard were in people like that that had felt this stuff for 30 years or 20, 30 years had been around now so that I could convince them to try this out and just to see what happens. I guarantee you that they would have been blown away by the results. This technology has, is so much different, and it's such a different game than what has been promoted and pumped by different people. And that's why they're laughing their asses off, because people have overthought it and came up with these grandiose, you know, that sound to people from the outside. It sounds absolutely crazy. But when you break it down and look at it and keep it simple and look at it rationally, this is what makes the most sense. And this isn't a theory. I've done it, I've proved it, I've tried it, it works, and I'm trying to help you out, and I get joy out of knowing that somehow I'm fucking up some little asshole's program. So it's imperative that you, that you do this, and like I said earlier, you don't have anything to lose, and the more I find out through my daily experimentation, the more I figure out I will continue to post this up. 
But those are the major things that you need to do. As I'm talking here, if I think of anything else that also works, I'll throw it in. There was a guy who, who didn't know he was targeted. He didn't know that he had more gallons. He just had a film growing on him that, by all accounts and descriptions, sounds exactly like what I've been taking off my body. He had gone to the doctor, and the doctor actually tested it because he didn't come in with wild accusations and walk out with some delusional parasitosis or whatever uh, diagnosis. His doctor actually had it checked out. What the doctor found was a fungus, red blood cells, and a quote-unquote unknown goo. Um, this is exactly the same kind of stuff that I'm talking about. This is what you need to break up, so let's go over it. You've got Epsom salt for the skin, baths, heavily, heavily soaked in Epsom salt. You've got borax that breaks it up. Then you've got, uh, do, 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 internally, we, everything that I talked about internally, you need to take to kill it on the inside. It's Your guts are gurgling and doing weird things. It's not because you're being hit with it. It, it may be because they are reacting, yeah, they are reacting with Wi-Fi, and the different signals that uh, that these signals are being carried on, but you you need to kill the stuff off, and you will see that your gut stop gurgling. So there's a carrier. This all the stuff carries on something. That's why they can target you and not everybody else in the room. That's why uh, there isn't a spook in a van pointing a weapon at you, or in an apartment, or your neighbor, or whatever. They don't need that anymore. They don't need chips. They don't need any of this stuff. It creates a dirty board. It creates a dirty circuit board in your body that's receptive to these signals. There's a dude I've been talking to in another state who is, he's actually a new TI, I hate that word, but he's, he's if you want to call targeted or whatever, he's new to the whole thing. And um, sure as shit, within let's say two months, three months, he starts getting these red spots on his face. Um, it looks like dry skin or eczema. Then he starts waking up, same exact thing, the same story, starts waking up, and it looks like he's got frosting every day over these parts of his skin, over these little areas. There's a, there's a frosting that just falls off. It's not skin. Because skin doesn't regenerate that quickly. It's, it lo literally looks like a frosting, like he's been eating a frosted donut. Um, it's the same thing. And I'm um, telling you, potassium iodide, super saturated, whatever you want, saturated solution of potassium iodide. Potassium iodide drops. You take so many of them a day as well. Um, you take this stuff. The maximum dosage, you can look it up, how to treat sporotrichosis with potassium iodide. This helps kill the fungal infection. This will kill the fungal infection. Then you cleanse the body internally. Keep using all the things I mentioned, and I promise you that your symptoms will diminish and then vanish. You have particular dusts that are stuck to you. You have... Um, different particles that are stuck to you inside and out. You have a fungal infection in your muscles, and if you research radio frequencies and fungus and muscles, it takes, I can't explain it in a five-hour video, but if you've done the research that I've done, you'd come to the same conclusion that I have, and I've, now I've said it probably ten times, but you're getting all this advice from people who are still targeted, who are still feeling this shit, who have it every day, and I don't have it. So what is my point? My point is to stop listening to all this bullshit and all this disinformation that's out there and listen to what I'm telling you because I'm the guy that has broken this shit down and gotten rid of it, not the guy who's running his big mouth, you know, well, maybe I am running my big mouth, but... I actually have a solution and an answer, and a logical one that isn't out in outer space, left field, or comes off so wacky that you, if you told anybody, it would sound insane. I've said in my other videos, I don't have anybody around me who doesn't believe me. Everybody knows there's something going on. 
because of the physical symptoms, the stuff I've pulled off my skin, the stuff I've recorded, blah, 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 blah. So this part is up to you. Are you going to wait for somebody to come along and believe your story and take it to Congress and outlaw it and hit the switch? Or are you going to ground your body and cleanse it and claim it again and get rid of your symptoms? Couple notes here, sugar, refined sugar makes this stuff go into overdrive. If you ate refined sugar every day like I did, I had it in my coffee, it goes absolutely nuts. It grows everywhere hardcore. Cut it out. You don't have to be a monk. I mean, you can have a soda once in a while. What I've noticed is that uh, refined sugar accelerates this, but in no way like high fructose corn syrup, which I'm sure it's not good for you, but it doesn't do the same thing that refined sugar does. Refined sugar is, is like a steak dinner for this shit. Everybody that I've talked to personally who is quote-unquote targeted or has electronic harassment symptoms has this exact same fungal infection. That's my point. I'm going to say it again. Everybody that I've talked to on a personal level has this exact same fungal infection. Exactly. I'm not going to argue with people on the comment section if... You know, if you want to disbelieve what I'm saying, you don't have to believe it. Uh, if you post, post things that are coherent, think, like I said earlier, look from outside in. Don't post these three, let I am too, or something to where people can't even tell what you're talking about or what you're trying to get across. Think, use punctuation. Show these people that are coming from the outside and coming and checking out these videos that the people that are, are dealing with this kind of shit aren't crazy, that they aren't some uneducated halfwit somewhere. There's a lot of people that are dealing with this that are, most of them are very intelligent. Um, unfortunately, some of them have been brought into this program hook, line, and sinker and believe a lot of the bullshit and in the same time have lost a lot of their communication skills so all I'm telling you is to, is to really think and, and, and check out, double check and triple check what you're posting before you post and make sure that it's coherent, that you're, if you say something that you're using fact and you can back it up, not opinion, not uh, you thought of it, that it was a, a vision brought to you and you're, you know what I mean? Stuff, stuff that's brought up without fact or without basis is easily discredited and then you're just thought of as crazy. So it, you need to really think about these things. And if you're going to post something, you can't say that um, directed energy weapons work awesome with the, put in this blank. You can't say that without uh, backup. Do the scientific research and, and post stuff that people can look at and go, well, fuck, yeah, that actually works with this. And they actually did it at MIT or blah, 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 blah. What I've shown you is a, a magnetic, a ferromagnetic powder that's used in tattoos that actually creates uh, vibrations and other sensations that's proven, it's patented. Quartz crystals that pick up radio signals, and they've known this since the beginning of time. It's old school. I've proven that there's a, there's a fungal type of film on our skin that is trapping things against our skin. I've proven it with uh, over six people now. Personally, on personal levels of talking to them every day and talking them through what to do to show that this stuff is on their skin. Everything that I've done has been proven. So this, these aren't things that I'm speculating on. Um, let's say for the 11th or 12th time now, my, my symptoms are gone. So if you're going to post something, post facts. Don't propagate. Don't push any more of this bullshit or hearsay until you've done the research and proven it. Now, I know that a lot of this stuff sounds arrogant, maybe coming off arrogant to people, but I'm just tired. I'm very, very tired of the opinions and the, the hearsay and the, the push for all this disinformation when there's no factual basis behind most of it, if any of it. I'm, again, I'm not selling anything. 
I'm trying to help you out. And the worst thing that can happen to you from doing all this is you get more energy and you feel healthier. You may go through a Herx period where the, where the symptoms feel worse than they were before. It won't last forever. You just keep charging ahead and it's going to happen to you. So check it out. Do it. You can't afford not to. Um, if you're poor, just get the pieces one by one. The Epsom salt's like, you know, five, six bucks. And you're going to be buying a lot of it, but it's well worth it. And you need to do it every day. Not every other day, not once a week. You need to do it every day. Then when you see the results, then you can slow down and it will be less expensive. And then you're basically going to be spending money maintaining until we can figure out how to get rid of it for good. But I'm telling you that uh, potassium iodide saturated solution kills off the sporotrichosis. It's a fact. Um, on, lastly, on the audio analysis tip, I've been getting a lot of emails from a lot of different people to analyze their, their audio. I would love to do this stuff 24 hours a day so I can prove to, so I can help prove to people that these people aren't crazy, that they're actually hearing this stuff. Um, but I have to feed my family too. So I'm going to put up a donation page somewhere. If you can donate a couple bucks, that would be awesome. If I can make, when I sit down to do this stuff, sometimes it takes a couple days to do, you know, a, a half an hour, 45 minute clip because I do it in sections. If I could make, you know, five, ten dollars an hour doing this stuff for people, it would be well worth it. Um, I'm going to put up a donation page. If you can, you know, give a couple bucks or whatever, that would be awesome. Um, and it would just keep this machine rolling because I'm not going to stop until we have every angle of this covered. So let's, uh, let's fuck these motherfuckers shit up. Let's fuck their program up. Let's stick, a, stick in the spokes big enough to flip the bike. That's it. Take it easy.